and welcome back to the channel. On this video I'm going to be writing the lyric graffiti as you see it right there and this video I want to talk about something that happened kind of a sad story not kind of it was a sad story and let me hop on and let's talk about it. So this happened on October the 2nd I'm recording this on October 5th Saturday and this happened on Wednesday October the 2nd and it was a fatal e-bike accident. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it. And just a sad, sad story. So let me give you some of the details. Now, kind of hard to get the exact details as to what happened, but I'll give you what I know or what they're saying anyway. The police uh, here in... Uh, Tigard, the, the Tigard police. Now this happened in Tualatin, Oregon on 124th Avenue near Mislone Street. And it's not very far from where I live. So it kind of hits home that way. But uh, okay, first of all, I wanted to mention that the law here in Oregon requires you to be 16 years of age or over to ride an electric bike. And the boy who was fatally killed in this accident was just 15, a uh, student at uh, Tigard High School, a sophomore. And so, not sure uh, why he would be riding his bike at early in the morning but this happened around s before 6 30 a.m. because when the emergency vehicles arrived it was six approximately 6 30 a.m. and they were alerted by a passerby who saw him uh, this uh, young man laying there uh, on the side of the road or up not on the side of the road but off the road I believe and so what happened was basically he was riding his bike along 124th Avenue, if you're familiar with that street here in um, Tualatin area, Tigard, Tualatin. And he was riding his bike in the bike lane. He did have a helmet on. And I, don't know, I do not know the, how fast he was riding, what the speed uh, that he was uh, riding at, but his bike, is capable of speed so so from what I've read and then I did do a look up on the bike uh, the website says that that bike is capable of 32 miles an hour uh, the police are saying 35 but that doesn't matter whichever now they're not saying he was riding that fast they said the bike is capable of going that fast and so he was riding along apparently now if you're riding along before 6 30 in the morning at this time of year it's dark outside still so even with a good headlight you're still not going to see as well as you're going to see in the daylight even with this lyric graffiti that i'm on now it has an awesome headlight but even at that you can't see everything and so apparently there was debris in the bike lane and it sounds like he was trying to avoid the debris in the bike lane lost control of his bike hit the curb and then went from the curb up and hit it into a tree and he like I say was wearing a helmet and he died but I don't know the cause of death exactly like you know uh, but I just know that uh, from what they say that he hit the tree and so anyway, if you're familiar with riding a bike and what I want to talk a little bit about is what can we do about something like this? First of all, if you're under 16, uh, I got to think if you're a parent of any child that's under the age of 16, first of all, do you allow your son or daughter to ride an electric bike? on the road 
And the other thing is, which applies to all of us uh, that are over 16 years old or 16 years old or over, let's face it, those uh, bike lanes, and I've said this time and time again, some of them have some awful amounts of debris in the bike lane. And if you're riding especially at night, um, then you're going to not see all the debris, right? And you're not only debris, there could be a squirrel running by in front of your bike or something, you know, anything like that. And you're going to try to avoid hitting them or try to avoid hitting the debris because if you hit the debris, that can cause you to lose control as well. Now, I don't know, possibly this young man uh, hit some debris and that caused him to lose control of his bike too. I don't know for sure. But I don't think they know for sure because there's no eyewitnesses, there's no other car, cars involved or anything. But the bike lanes have a lot of debris, some of them worse than others. Um, and I don't know what you can do about that other than sweep it a lot, which even then you could have the bike lane swept by a sweeper truck and then an hour later there's debris in there again. You know, you're never going to have it where it's all gone, but everything collects over at the curb, right? And that's where the bike lanes are all the time, if, they, if there is a bike lane there even. But he was wearing a helmet. He was not uh, 16 years old though. And I can tell you the bike that he was riding. So he was riding something called an Amnet S8. And so I wasn't familiar with that bike, so I had to look it up and see just what it was. So the bike he was riding was a dual motor, 1,000 watts each, so a total of 2,000 watt, 48 volt. And I think it had a 25 amp hour battery, but um, the website, and I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check out this bike that he was riding. Um, the website claims the bike to go 32 miles per hour, or maybe it says 32 plus, and then, like I say, the police report that I saw said that the bike is capable of 35 miles per hour. So I don't, not sure, it kind of makes you, I've been thinking about this ever since uh, it happened, you know, it, it gets on your mind and you wonder, you know, what can be done about this? How can we improve things? First, first thing I thought of was, well, first thing I thought of was, uh, uh, do you allow your 15 year old to ride on the road on an electric bike? And then the second thing I was thinking was, all that debris that goes in the bike lane. Some, like I say, are a lot worse than others. And what do we do about that? And I know there's already uh, talk about uh, e-bikes here since that happened and how dangerous they are. And they said that's not even an e-bike that he was riding. So we go through all that, right? And you can't paint everything with one brush. You can't do that. And as tragic as this is, uh, you just don't want to, uh, you don't want to take the bike, the e-bikes the way they are away from everybody, I don't think. But I don't know, I'm still thinking about this and what we can do about it, but maybe you have a, a suggestion or comment that you'd like to uh, make on this uh, video. Uh, let me know in the comments, I'd be interested in uh, hearing from you. All we can do is give our opinions I will leave a link in the uh, description uh, on the bike that he was riding and I can also leave a link on the uh, story. I'll find one of the links 
and let you read uh, what they have to say. So that's going to do it for this video and uh, let's all be safe out there because uh, nobody wants to see anyone get hurt or killed. You know, we're all on these bikes to have fun, to enjoy the bike and uh, it's just, uh, you know, we don't want to see anybody getting hurt. Let's all be safe out there. Watch out for one another um, and same with the car drivers. You know, watch out for uh, cyclists and vice versa. We all got to share the road. And uh, do it safely. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. Just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to comment, as I mentioned uh, on this or any other video that you've seen on the channel, just hit the uh, comments uh, and write up uh, what you'd like to say. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. Be safe out there.